Red Out 2 is a wipeout-like anti-grav racing game that challenges players with intense speed and complex driving mechanics. The right stick controls strafing and nose pitch, while the digital pad allows rolling. You control all this while managing two boost types, which damage your craft if overused. Together, these elements demand a level of skill not found in traditional racing games. Despite this complexity, however, the racing experience is still fluid with responsive controls. The game features 12 ships that can be cosmetically customized and equipped with modules to enhance stats. There's 36 racetracks with overlapping elements, but there is an occasional issue with visual overload making the track and turns difficult to discern, so memorizing the tracks pays dividends. The game offers a single-player campaign with a plethora of events with goals and rewards. However, the campaign mode is bloated, requiring significant repetition, and if you have no interest in unlocking cosmetic items, the progress will feel slow. There's also a 12-player online mode, but player count has been low for so long that the recent patch announcement, after a year of inactivity, is probably too late to rejuvenate it. The necessity for quick reflexes and precise control gives the game a very steep learning curve for newcomers, and it's not helped by a weak tutorial that leaves players to figure out many mechanics on their own. This is however offset somewhat by difficulty settings and configurable AI driving assistance. Lower difficulties also give you a number of rewinds to undo mistakes. Overall, it's obviously a game that was designed around its now dead competitive multiplayer, the single player still offers a challenging and somewhat rewarding experience, but it is grindy and might be too punishing for casual players due to its steep learning curve and demanding gameplay mechanics. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And remember, your time matters, so try to spend it wisely.